Let's talk for a moment about device configuration. One of the reasons we manage devices in the first place is to apply some settings or configuration to the device. For example, you might want to set how long it takes for the device to go to sleep, or what color the desktop background is, or whatever you feel you need to configure. You need to apply that configuration somehow, right? Device configuration in Intune is delivered using configuration profiles. These are packages of config that affect the devices they're targeted at. So for example, let's say I want to set a specific image to show on the lock screen on my devices. So when the user has locked their machine and it shows their picture and their, their avatar and they're ready to type their password, I want to set a background behind that. So I've got a picture I want to use and it's just a case of finding a way to get that setting applied on the device itself. What I want to show you first is how to configure the lock screen from Intune standard profiles. Let's take a look. So from the Intune admin center, we'll go to devices. Just gonna minimize this for you so you can see this a bit better. And we've got a new um, interface for managing these devices now. And we'll go to Windows. We'll choose configuration profiles. And now I'm gonna choose create new policy. We're gonna choose the platform with Windows 10 and later and from the profile type, we're gonna go with templates. Now, one of the issues with configuring a profile this way is that the templates are all kind of set up with a specific name. So you now need to figure out which template you want to use in order to find that policy, which will allow you to set the lock screen background. So let's try typing lock screen. No, the name doesn't contain that. What if I choose admin template? Will it let me search within them? I'll choose admin template, choose create, and I'll call it um, lock screen background version one. This is attempt one. So we're going to choose next. And here I get to search within. Now this looks like GPO, doesn't it? If you've seen that before, this looks like an admin template from group policy. And that's pretty much because it is. That's exactly what it is. So now I can probably filter within this for lock screen. Can I? Lock screen doesn't seem to work. Lock. That's finding things with lock, with block in the word. That's not helpful. There's lots and lots of options there. So screen, maybe? Allow full screen. Smart screen. Do not display the lock screen. Now you can see this is in control panel personalization. So let's take a look at control panel personalization. So let's get rid of that. We'll go with control panel personalization. We have force a specific background and accent color or force a specific, a specific default lock screen and log on image. That sounds about right. Okay, good. So now we can read through this descri description and you can see we can either find an image that's on the desk on the computer itself that we can reference or a UNC path such as a server. Now these computers aren't necessarily going to be able to contact that server before the user's logged in. The VPN might not have kicked in by then or they may not be in the office. And it's not really convenient to push an image to the device itself because if you want to update it we've got to push the image. It doesn't sound great. So what we can do instead is use the internet. So let's try uh, enabled and then I have put this image on blob storage in Azure. So all I need to do is tap in the URL, which is this one here. And you can see it's got a little tick, so that means it works. And then we can also turn off fun facts, tips and tricks and more on the lock screen. I'm gonna do that because that doesn't feel like a corporate thing to have on a lock screen. Okay, so that's that way of doing it. We'll choose okay, we'll choose next, we'll choose next. And I'm going to deploy this to all my devices because I'm in a, you know, I'm in a lab environment, so it's okay to do that. You might want to test this in a, in a smaller group, but when you're doing it in your environment, we'll choose next and create. Okay, so that's now being created. It'll take a few seconds, it'll show in the policies right here. There we go. And so now that's one way of configuring this setting. You can see it wasn't particularly easy to find that setting when I wanted to find it. So let's look at different ways to do that. 
Another way of doing that would be, let's have a look at what we've got. So new policy, we can choose Windows 10 and later. And then we looked at templates earlier on. And there are some templates that are pretty easy to use. So let's go into templates. And we used admin template, which is group policy, right? That's just the admin templates from group policy put into Intune for us so that we can use them. But maybe it's a device restriction. So if I choose device restrictions, choose create and call it lock screen background. Lock screen background v2, not 12, 2. Choose next. Hopefully we won't get a 12. We'll choose control panel. And do we have anything about lock screen here? Nope. Display. Nope. Lock screen experience. Ah, look at that. Lock screen picture URL. So we can put that URL there instead. So searching through the templates gives us a way to find these particular settings if we want to, to, to find them. Um, so I could choose next and next, or I will. I'll choose next, next, create. I'm not going to deploy this one because deploying a policy which contains two settings that are similar might or probably will conflict in most cases. So I've got that second policy, but it's not deployed. So V2 isn't going to have any effect at all. If we do see this apply to the device in a few moments, then uh, it'll be V1 that's applying. I want to just go into a few more of these though, because there's many, many options when it comes to configuring this particular setting and all settings within Intune. And that's what I want to really focus on. So if I choose create and then new policy, we've kind of gone through all of the things that are in templates. So there's admin templates for group policy. There's also the um, the device restrictions policy that I just showed you. What about if we look in settings catalog? And this says start from scratch and select settings you want from the library of available settings, which almost feels like what we've just done. But hey, let's try it this way. We'll choose create. I'm going to go with in tune background, sorry, lock screen background V3 and choose next. And we get to add some settings. Good. Now here we have a search bar for settings and we can also look through the categories and just choose the categories on their own. And we might be able to find it, but I'm, I'm not, not holding out too much hope there. So we'll choose lock screen. Ah, okay. That was easier. So top one there is in admin templates, control panel personalization, and then force a specific default lock screen and log on image. That looks about right. And if you open that up, you can see we get the path to the lock screen and also the fact that we can turn off fun facts and tips. So that's what we did originally in V1, but this is ex a different experience for finding it, right? So if I choose this checkbox here, you can see just behind that, it popped up and it already applied that setting into this settings catalog. And actually what I need to do to configure that is just jump out of this. I choose X and then it's already here. And it says in the control panel and personalization section, 32 of the 33 possible categories are not configured. So I've only got this one here, which is configured. And it says force a specific default lock screen and log on image. I want to choose enable on that, or at least untick disable, which toggles it to enabled. And you can see just above it, for some reason just above it, it's now put a field where I can put in the URL. And it's also allowed me to turn off fun facts and tips. So I'm going to put in that URL again, just to show you where it goes. There it is. And we will choose turn off fun facts and tips. Now, again, I'm not going to deploy this. I'm going to create it, but not deploy it because I don't want to have a conflict in the environment. So we'll choose next, next, don't assign it and choose create. And then we have our three possible ways of configuring the lock screen background, but that's not it. There is more. So what if we wanted to create it without using the interface at all, without having those ticky boxes available to us. Let's look at a more advanced or slow or cumbersome way of deploying this particular setting. We'll choose new policy, Windows 10 and later. This is a template and I'm going to go with custom. We'll choose create. I'm going to call this lock screen background V4. We'll choose next and I'll choose add. Now this is much less user friendly. We have, uh, we get to add some rows of information. We have the name, the description, the OMA URI, and the data type. Now, in order for you to have any chance of understanding what this is, if you're fresh to this whole uh, custom profile thing, is for me to explain what an OMA URI is, surely. So 
there are some situations where a specific setting is not available within Intune. For some reason, either Microsoft haven't added it to the interface or it isn't in the settings catalog, which is very rare these days. It is normally in the settings catalog if it's available to set at all. But it is possible to use something called OMA URI. And this leverages, leverages something called the Windows Configuration Service Provider, or CSP. So CSP serve as a way to configure settings in a uniform way. So for example, the syntax is quite easy to follow. Let's say for a user level policy, we would start the syntax with, let me type it, dot slash user. And then we would type vendor. And this, it's the word vendor, regardless of whether you're working with Microsoft or not. And then we're typing MSFT for the Microsoft Configuration Service Provider. Now we're configuring a policy, so we'll type policy. And now we're looking at the config area. And then this is where it gets more specific to the setting you're trying to set. So for example, we would type the area name. I'll put this with asterisks around it because that's not what we need to type. And then also the policy name. And then once we've done that, we can apply the actual setting using data type. So actually, I'm going to change this from user to device because it's actually device level setting I want to set. And that hopefully will allow us to configure the, um, the setting. So let's just find the setting then. We're going to head over to the Microsoft Learn and we're in the, the configuration service provider support section so we can find the exact setting we need. So we're going to scroll down and it's actually under the personalization section it took me a little while to find it but it is under the personalization csp we'll choose that and what we find when we get to the personalization csp is that we can find all these things within vendor microsoft personalization so if we link this back so vendor microsoft personalization go back to that tab this is the policy so vendor microsoft personalization and now if we go to lock screen image status is one of the options. This represents the status of the lock screen image. One successfully downloaded or copied, downloaded in progress. That's not something we want to set. That's more of a status thing. Just scroll a little bit down and lock screen URL. That is an HTTP or HTTPS URL to a JPEG, JPEG or PNG image that needs to be downloaded. So let's grab this entire device string and put that just there and you can see it's now set with the OMI URI as lock screen image URL so I'm going to call this configure lock screen image now this name is free text you don't it doesn't need to be related to the policy at all but obviously it should for documentation purposes but it's not something you need to get right so then I can choose data type and now we have to choose between string date time integer boolean I mean, it's clearly not going to be date and time. It's probably not going to be integer because I want to put a URL in there. So it's probably going to be string. So I'll choose that. And now I just need to grab that string again with my URL, URL in it. We'll put that there and choose save. And now we've just gone the long roundabout way of configuring the exact same setting that we configured in V1. And now it's for you to decide which was easier. I'm going to choose next, 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 create. And this would apply the same policy to that device. For now, though, I want you to consider which one of these policy types, admin templates, device configurations, settings catalog, or completely custom, was simpler for you to configure. In my opinion, the settings catalog was the most simple way to configure the exact setting that I wanted. Your mileage may vary. You may choose to have... The, to use the admin template because you're familiar with group policy. The point is that it doesn't really matter. Apart from the custom one, which was a, a pain to try and find the, the setting itself, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. You're in control.